everyone, welcome to our first installment of a new video series I'm putting together. Uh, I'm going to call this Coffee and Cam, and I'm just going to go through quick tips um, from different issues that I've seen uh, through support and different various issues I ran into with customers, and how to tackle them and, and ways to work around them. So the first one we're going to do here today is doing contours around a part that has some features that might stick out and not really be easy to capture that uh, model feature to go around it. So let's just show the issue real quick. I've got a setup here with some extra stock around the outside. And when you go to try to use 2D contour, let's pick a tool. I've got a quarter inch flat. I go to select my contour either on the top or the bottom edge and a couple issues here. One, we would just machine right through um, that emboss right there. And also, on this top edge, it's trying to go inside of that slot and it would machine through this part of the model. So, yes, you can edit this. Click it to edit the profile. Select where you want to guide it and then hit the plus sign, and now it is working around that feature, but we still have this to deal with. So let's take a step back. I'm gonna cancel this, close it out, and actually what you want to do is go back to the model environment. And you could create a plane there and project these different edges manually, but a neat feature that I ran across is you can actually come in here, create a sketch. I'm gonna do it on the top face. And down under Project Include, we're going to go Project, or you can hit S on your keyboard, and I've got Project as a hotkey in my toolbox. So by default, the selection filter is going to be on specific entities. We're just going to change that to Bodies. That's that second button there. And when you do that, and pick that body, it actually projects the outer edges, a silhouette of that part. It's awesome. So now we have an actual sketch entity that we can utilize to get around those different features. And maybe I want to come in with a different tool to do the slot as well. So I could go in there and just simply add a line maybe from here to here. Let's go back to cam, go to 2D contour. I'm going to grab that same tool this time. I'm going to select my sketch as the contour selection. It looks like it even went through my sketch line over here. I do need to just re-guide it and tell it to include that there and the plus sign. And so now that projected body, we have a nice contour sketch that goes around the entire outside perimeter of those features on the model. Uh, because of the sketch, sometimes you will find that the uh, contour selection arrow here comes to the wrong side. All you got to do is flip that to the other side, and that will create your profile around the outside of the part. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Let's project geometry and use the body feature instead of um, specific entities. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.